and we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you how to create a sequential text slide in effect. Let us just start by creating backgrounds. I'll create a black video, so right click new item black video. I'll use the typical YouTube size 90, 20 times 1080 and I'll put it into my timeline. 5 seconds should be enough as a duration and now I'll create some text. I use the type tool for that and click on preview window. Let me use hit like and subscribe. You can size it up with the cursor tool, but don't make it too big. You want your entire text to fit the screen. But this size should be fine. I put it to the left hand side and now hold alt on this element and copy it three times and put it on top. So that way I've got five video channels, one for the background and then two, three, four and five for the text elements. Let me reposition them so that we can see them one by one. And I use the type tool and change the text for the other three elements so that we have hit like and subscribe as four different elements. I'll reposition it once again. And now I want to reposition the text itself. So I need the effect controls for that. If you can't see the window, go to window, click on effect controls. And you should have for each element this drop down for the text. And there you should find a transform and a position. Let me reposition the subscribe first to the right hand side and switch to the next element, which is the end. I just click on this position value and then I drag the mouse. So this is the text and now we need to align that a little bit so that it looks somewhat centered. I'll speed this video up a little bit and it's just the same. So use the position option and then click and drag your mouse. So we can work with that. That's fine for our example. Now we want to animate it. First step is we'll start with the head and we will position the other three elements a little bit to the right hand side in the timeline. Let's activate the head. We'll go to the position once more, click on the animation icon and then we'll go with the arrow keys a little bit forward. Let's say five or six frames, create a new keyframe. This is the position that we need, so this is the end position. That means we can use this value and we need to jump back to the first keyframe and now drag it outside the window. And this is what now happens to this text element, so it gets dragged in to the frame. The speed can be adjusted by making the gap wider right here for the keyframes, so now it's way slower. And you can put them closer together to make it faster. If you want to have a little bit of a black background first, just reposition the entire element a little bit to the right in the timeline. And that's a good starting point. We can use that. Just go to the position where you can see the hit fully and it doesn't move anymore. And I go one frame further forward. I'll just use the right arrow key for that. And I'll reposition the next text element, which is in this case the like. And again, activate it, go to the effect controls, find the position, start the animation. Go five or six frames forward, create a new keyframe, this is the end position, so we need to jump back to the first keyframe and then reposition it with a left click and drag. Something like this so that it overlaps and if you run it now, that's exactly what we wanted. Just readjust the duration in the timeline for all of these elements afterwards. The same process now for the third and fourth text element. Get to the right position, start the animation, Go forward five or six frames, create a new keyframe, jump back to the first keyframe of this element and reposition the text. That's fine. Our final element is the subscribe. Position it correctly in the timeline. Go to position in effect control, start the animation. New keyframe, readjust it for the first keyframe. Let me roll the clip. Let me readjust the duration for all of them so that we have them the entire time. One additional tip is by default, this animation is always linear in Premiere Pro. We can make it a little bit smoother 
right click on it, temporal interpolation and ease it in. Do that for every element, so select all of these keyframes, right click, temporal interpolation and ease in. And if we run it now again, it looks a little bit smoother. And this I can create a sequential text sliding effect in Premiere Pro. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.